Uh, welcome back our viewer you are watching your minister show only on champions tv today we are blessed to have the man of god all the way from ghana uh, he came to kenya in the year 2011 and he has been doing wonders his church is located at uh, adam circuit <laughs> on the way on your way to daguleti uh, and we are happy because uh, uh, he came to this nation and he got a place and he has been prophesying there. I am your host, Kenya Ilato. As we continue with Prophet, Prophet Dennis Hall, I believe your life will never be the same again because ministers of God pass through challenges. But through those challenges, they get victory. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You can tell us, uh, I, you have just told us that you had only 1000 That is $10 uh, when you are planning to come to Kenya. And you, you, you can tell us what happened so that you can get an a air ticket and then how you manage to get a place in this nation. Uh, you know, as I was saying, before then, I've begun to know people and be, people have begun to know me based on because most of my programs, a lot of people were attending and any program I came to have here, there were numerous testimonies that people had. Mm -hmm. So I had already gotten at least some name and people have started knowing me. Mm -hmm. So one of them, like two sisters, decided to get our ticket mm -hmm. because I told them what God had said and my intention to come and uh, they, they said, okay, they will get the ticket and we came. I came with my wife mm -hmm. and when we came, we were with them. We were staying uh, in one of them's house, you know, we were th with them. And, uh, oh, you came sure. to those two sisters who paid the air ticket? Huh? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So whilst we were there and uh, later on, in fact, we started from uh, Kawangwa, a place called Congo. Mm -hmm. That's where we started from. And uh, we started in prayers mm. gradually we were praying every day while that people were coming and a whole lot and uh, whilst we were there the Lord now told me that is not the right place to be mm. because if we stay there we won't grow mm. that is why I was saying that each time you need to hear the voice of God first mm. so when the Lord spoke to me I now had to make physical inquiries mm. then I checked the compound. I realized there were some churches there. Mm. Some have stayed for 12 years and there, there was nothing like growth. Mm. Then I then decided that, no, oh, we have to relocate. And for our relocation, mm. we needed a place. Mm. Then uh, a lady, a young girl that we had moved from that place that I'm talking of mm. to, to, to be in their place. Mm. And uh, around Jamuri there, mm. phase one. So we got there mm. where we were here with a husband and that is when we were looking for a place. Mm. And that period I traveled to mm. Uganda for a program. So at least God showed himself when I came back, I gathered some people and I said, no, we need to go to get to the place. So we drove to somewhere and when we got there, our present place, mm. when we got there, they told us no. <laughs> In fact, the place was a pub. Like, it used to be a pub. And I think the person was no more using the place okay. for a pub again. So it was vacant by then? It was vacant. And uh, in fact, to be sincere, it wasn't in a good, good shape. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that good. But uh, I decided, no, we need a place. Mm -hmm. We have to mm -hmm. get that place. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, they told us, no. Mm -hmm. That compound, mm -hmm. in fact... Three churches have already come to re, I mean, get a place, mm -hmm. and they have been refused. The caretaker came and said the same thing, and I said, no, mm -hmm. I still need to see mm -hmm. the owner of the, of the compound, mm -hmm. not the owner of the mm -hmm. pub, mm -hmm. because it's a, it's a compound. That's why it's called Container City. Mm -hmm. You have other shops inside there. Mm -hmm. I said, I want to see mm -hmm. the man who owns the place. Mm -hmm. Because I know when God sends you, you see, his favor goes with you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I'm not somebody that I am easily moved mm -hmm. 
<laughs> because one thing I have understood and it's my policy mm -hmm. that quitters never win right. and winners never quit. Right. So if you want to be a winner, mm -hmm. don't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. So I don't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. I know if I go for it, I'll get it. Mm -hmm. So there was a lady, there's this lady who also is a seamstress. She sews. Mm -hmm. She now gave us the office number. Mm -hmm. We called, we booked an appointment. We went there the next day. The secretary told us, no, the boss says the place is not for a church. Mm -hmm. Any other thing can come. It can be pub, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I told the lady, yes. I said, tell your boss, I said, I need a place. Mm -hmm. And the boss doesn't know me. Mm -hmm. But I used that word. I said, tell your boss, I said, mm -hmm. I need a place. Mm -hmm. So the next morning she called and said, the boss says, we can take there. Mm -hmm. We can take that place. And that was it. Oh, he changed his mind. He changed it just like that. Without seeing us. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. We shall continue. Uh, we have the man of God, uh, Prophet Hall, and he has been doing wonders in this nation. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Amos 3 and verse 7, Satan, certainly the sovereign Lord does nothing without first revealing his plan to his servants their prophets. It is good to know our viewer that uh, it is good to be connected to the man of God because God does nothing without revealing to the man of God. So that's why we are hosting this show because we know that men of God holds people destiny. So it is good to have uh, a man of God through your life because there are some things God will not do until he reveals to his prophets. So as we are continuing with this program, I believe you shall get some points that will help your life, even some wonderful words, because this is your show, your minister's show. I am your host, Kenya Waidatu. Uh, let us continue, man of God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So that is when they gave us the place, and we began. Mm -hmm. We just began, and the place was not to the... It was a big wide, so mm -hmm. for us to start, we need to push in some money mm -hmm. and as i said i come from uganda so i pushed in a lot of money to to repair everything there and we put it in the good shape you have gone to uganda to minister so yeah. they blessed you with some money yes sir. and you came to use it to because yeah. one thing is i believe in investing in the kingdom mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. because a ceo will always invest in his business mm -hmm. so i believe in investing in the kingdom mm -hmm. So when I have money, I don't want to use it to myself, but I want to push it to the work of God. Amen. Yeah, because that is my office. Mm -hmm. I would say that is my factory. That is my company. Mm -hmm. So I need to maintain it. Right. And uh, I have a belief that mm -hmm. God cannot just be worshipped anywhere. Mm -hmm. He has to be worshipped in the a better place. The place of God must be conducive. Mm -hmm. That is it. Mm. Because if we can maintain our homes, mm. we can't just give any place mm. just like that for God Amen. without maintaining the place. Mm. The place must look beautiful. The, the place must look good because it is called the house of God. Mm. So the house of God must be repaired. It must be maintained mm. in a good shape. So that's what I believe in. Mm. So any money me, I get, I push it into the ministry. Mm. Yes, I invest into it mm. because I know when I invest into God's work, mm. God will be the, the one to bless me. Amen. That is it. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that man will bless me, but only God. Amen. That is why David said, promotion does not come from the north or from the south. It mm -hmm. comes from God. Mm -hmm. It comes from above. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says every good and perfect gift mm -hmm. coming from him. Mm -hmm. So for God to make you go ahead, mm -hmm. you need to also have that passion mm -hmm. of doing what God requires or what God needs. Mm -hmm. David wanted to build a house for God, but God refused him mm -hmm. and decided that Solomon should build. And you can understand that Solomon used, if you convert it to our current currency, mm -hmm. Solomon used more than $100 million mm -hmm. just to build a temple. Mm -hmm. More than $100 million. Mm -hmm. How many people can even use that money to invest in the kingdom of God? Mm -hmm. not many. This is not $1 million. Mm -hmm. $100 million was something. Mm -hmm. Even when God refused David, David still made provision mm. for, the, for the temple. Mm. That is it. So you have to maintain the house of God. And that is when I started pushing money. We have to 
do the floor everything mm. for it to look good mm, and to look like yes. a church so it got to a point that we need to expand mm. then we expanded again we have to still pay more mm. well the more you expand you pay more for the for the for the ground and i i believe the bible says i give her the sow and the seed to sow mm. so whatever god gives you and you give him back mm. he multiplies them and give it back to you mm. so that is my policy yeah. Uh, th- thank you. Can you tell us how the first service was uh, was looking like? I think the first service, if I'm not mistaken, we were probably about 21 or so. Mm. Yeah. And, and we, how did they come to know you even those 21? Well, uh, I already knew few. As I said, we were praying. Mm. And you see, mm. in ministry, when you want to begin a ministry, it takes a lot. And one... There are people before you begin or you start, they will say, ah, I am with you. Mm. But by the time you begin, mm. you know that they are not with you. Mm. They are with themselves. Huh? Mm. They always already have somewhere they are going. Mm. So if care is not taken, you'll be disappointed. Mm. Yeah. Already you can think like when you are beginning, oh, I have like 50, 100 people mm. on board. Mm. But before you realize you have like how many? Mm. Just few. Just Jesus came, started his ministry. He had 72 disciples. Mm. But he got to a point, they all left, remaining 12. Mm. Yes. And Jesus maintained the 12 till he died. Mm. Yes. So Jesus' ministry had only 12 people. Mm. That was the, only the disciples. Mm. The rest of the people that gathered were just itinerary. Mm. And in fact, some of them came to gather because Jesus could multiply bread. Mm. So we have people that follow you because of their stomach, not mm. because of the ministry. Mm. Exactly. I, I would like to, to know where you gathered this courage to start a ministry in a, for, in a foreign country and it is not your country. How, how did you come out with this courage? In fact, it's a great question. I was in South Africa ministry and there is this great man of God in Ghana. In fact, he's one of the fathers of the land. Mm-hmm. His name is Reverend Victor Say. Mm-hmm. He now said, yeah, you people, those of you who have ministries in foreign land, you are trying to Mm. You are doing a, a exclusive work. Mm. And I'm telling you, if you have a ministry on a for, foreign land and God mm. even gives you, or you even gather like 20 people, you are doing well. Mm. I am yeah. telling you, it's not easy. Mm. Because you are not speaking the same language with them. You are not related with them. You are not with them. Mm. And we can't take this from it. Mm. Like in Kenya, when somebody hears you are from West Africa, mm. hey, be careful. Mm, very true. There is, a, no, I mean, there is a, a, a stigma mm. on West Africans. Mm. But I thank God that Kenya and Nigeria, I mean, Ghanaians, mm. we relate very well. Mm. But when they hear you are from West Africa, mm. people, are, the first thing that comes into their mind is juju. Mm. You have black power, you know, mm. some kind of. They are not joining powers. Because of the movies people have been watching, mm. you understand it. So it's not easy, mm. more or less, being from West Africa coming to begin a ministry. And uh, this is a situation you have come. Mm. There are churches you have ministered before Mm. and you minister so powerfully by the grace of God, people have gotten to know you. Mm. Let's not, I mean, deceive ourselves. Mm. There are some messages their pastors will even give them Mm. about you Mm. so that nobody will decide to follow you. Very true. And I have had it off. Mm. I am telling you, sir. I have had it off. Could you believe that churches were raising prayers against me? Mm. Yeah. Some of them were praying mm. I should even die. Mm. Let me tell you, there was a day I woke up in the morning. I didn't feel my bones. Mm. It's like I was feeling only my flesh. Mm. The, all my joints were weak. And I to move was a problem. Mm. So I stood up, and that time I had started early morning pro- I mean, prayers mm. at my church. So I woke up, wanted to go and pray. Mm. And I was not feeling, you see, you are, I mean, lifting your leg, and you are not feeling you are lifting the leg. Mm. So I got to my church, and I wanted to go to the washroom. I moved to the first test. I fell down. Mm. I woke up, and I said, what is wrong? So the Lord now showed me something and said, look at what is happening. Mm. So I now stood on my pulpit and I said, they lie bad. Mm. That is when I started feeling okay. Mm. Yeah, I started feeling okay because God wanted me to show what is going on. Mm. Wanted to show me what is going on. Mm. So he wanted me to feel it on my body. Mm. 
that he has some people. So who I are, said, who are opposing exactly. Him. So I said, so so and so church is praying against me, mm. and the woman dead. Mm. Could you believe that? I mean, weeks or months after, mm. someone came from that church mm. to join my congregation, and Auntie. the person was telling someone that mm. they raised the prayer topic that they never knew mm. it was me. Because the man of God did not really mention my name. Mm. But he only said the man of God from Ghana. Mm. We should pray against him. He's evil. Mm. And this is the place I have ministered that this guy have believed in me. And people testified in his church. So this is what happened. Mm. And when we are talking of courage to come to a foreign land. Mm. I, you see, the Lord told Abraham to leave his father's house mm. to the place he will show him. Mm. Abraham's father was well to do. And before God can prosper you, he must move you from your comfort zone mm. to the place that you will feel the heat. Mm. And the Bible says he did not give us the spirit of fear, mm. but the spirit of boldness and of a sound mind. Mm. And I thank God I have a heart like a lion. I am not moved by anything. That is <laughs> Amen, man of God. Our time is running out. Yeah. Uh, but I would like to ask you two questions. Uh, what have you been do doing for your church to grow? from one level to another? The growth mm. comes from three things. Mm. Being faithful mm. to God mm. and to your people mm. as well. Mm. You have to be faithful to God and to your people as well. You need to, I mean, believe in what God has given you, what you carry. That is the next thing. Mm. And three, mm. humility mm. is what accelerate everything the bible says he resists the proud mm. and gives us grace to the humble mm. and when you have the spirit of humility there are a lot of things you will not do mm. i don't believe in a man of god having bodyguards no mm. you want to prove to god that he cannot protect you mm. exactly so no matter my level mm. i still comes down yes i still have to come down mm. because when i say my level i am known all over the world mm. yes I am known all over the world. Mm -hmm. And when I'm doing even my Facebook videos and a whole lot, I have a lot of followers that watch me. Mm -hmm. That watches me. So I, when you have these three, mm -hmm. and you need not to be money conscious, mm -hmm. that is another thing. Mm -hmm. Don't let money lead you. Mm -hmm. When money leads you, you kill the ministry. Mm -hmm. But when you let God lead you, instead of money, mm -hmm. you go far. Then thank you, thank you. I believe that you have well answered. Uh, the other question I want to ask you, uh, can you just give, give us uh, the difference between Kenyans and Ghanaians? How you have di discovered through your ministry? Which difference do they have? When it comes to the things of God and ministry, mm -hmm. I would say not only Ghanaians, but mm -hmm. West Africa is far advanced mm -hmm. when it comes to ministry. Mm -hmm. That is it. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of things I came to realize that Kenyans are beginning to understand mm -hmm. as far as ministry is concerned. Mm -hmm. And uh, West Africa, you see, our everything. Mm -hmm. You see, we are radical people. Mm -hmm. That's the first factor. You can't take it from us. We are very radical. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we say we want to do this, we want to do it. Mm -hmm. And in West Africa, when somebody says he's serving God, mm -hmm. he's serving when a person says he's serving juju, you can know that this person is serving juju. He doesn't hide it. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Because let me shock you, it is in only West Africa that an armed robber can pay tight. Mm. Yes, he can go for robbery mm. and come and pay tight. Okay. It shows that even armed robber understand that mm. the principles of God. Mm. I hope you understand me. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he understands the principles of God, mm. but he's an armed robber. An armed robber can take something from you. When he sees that you're a man of God, he says, oh, pastor, let me pay my tithe. Mm. He will take your own money, give you your own tithe mm. from your own money. Mm. You understand? It shows that we are advanced when it comes to the things of God. I hope you understand me. <laughs> we have... <laughs> because that time we have got it. <laughs> Kenya, I'm going to ask you. Eh? So you are so happy because of the man of God, Prophet, De Prophet Dennis Hall. In the minister show, and because our time is running out, we will you will just give us your church location, and then you invite us, and then you can give us your contacts also. Uh, it is your minister show, the Tikonaya Prophet Dennis Ho. Well, I thank you so much, and I thank TV. I mean, 
Champions TV for giving me this privilege. And it's not because I am more than the ministers of God in this country, but I, I, I only believe in one thing. Before I came here, I was saying something that favor breaks 100 days or 100 years of labor. So it's by favor that has been shown to me. And uh, as we have been talking, my name is Prophet Dennis Hall Asante. I am the General Overseer of Great Unction Worldwide Chapel. We are located at Adams Arcade, Adams Arcade, right after the runabout, the Uchumi at Adams. Before you head to the Old Winners Chapel, there is a, the road is called Suna Road, but there is a left road just after the Uchumi called Lagiri Road. When you follow the road down, or you can ask anyone of uh, the church down there, or you can ask anyone of uh, Great Unction Worldwide Chapel or Container City, that would be the easiest way. When you ask everyone of Container City, they will direct you to that place of our worship. And uh, my numbers, my personal numbers, I'm the type that nobody picks my phones. I, I answer my own phones. So any number I'm giving on the screen or I'm giving you is my own personal numbers. It's 0780 0780662163. It is only the first three numbers that changes or the first four numbers that changes. The rest are the same. And I am inviting you. We have our services on Tuesdays and Thursdays, every Tuesday and every Thursday from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. And on, uh, uh, on Sunday morning, 9 a.m. And we also have our cashes every second and the last Friday every month. Come and worship with us, and you will never regret. The Lord will bless you. God bless you. Thank you for taking our time. And being with us in our minister show, I am your host, Kenya Wairato. I'm happy to be with you. Uh, see you tomorrow, and you shall live, be blessed. God bless you. Thank you, man of God, for God having time you. with us. Yes, sir. God bless you.